Okay, so I've got the Tesla drive unit in the shop, all ready to go. It's a really neat design system. It's like a, a three-in-one uh, electric motor, inverter, gearbox, all bolted and sealed together. And now, I get to tear it all apart. <laughs> We're having fun converting to electric. <laughs> So I removed the cover to the inverter so I can keep a better eye on the 12 volt logic connector wire. That runs from the motor through the gearbox into the inverter. As I continue to remove the rest of the bolts holding the gearbox together. So as I'm spinning the rotor gear, which is hooked directly to the motor, then turns the intermediate shaft gear, which then turns the large ring gear on the far right, which is hooked directly to the drive axle. So to get the drive axle to turn around once, I have to spin the rotor gear 9.73 times. That's a very aggressive gear ratio. So first I remove the large ring gear. Then the intermediate shaft gear.
And then with a little bit of persuasion, I remove the rotor gear. So I've successfully removed all the gears out of the gearbox. I removed the logic connector wire so I can now put the cover back on the inverter. And now the inverter and motor are completely separate. Removed the damaged and leaking rotor shaft coolant seal. Picked up a new one from Hybrid Revolt. Replaced the bearings on the shafts of either end of the rotor. ordered them from spare parts.
I finished cutting off the excess gearbox housing and it fell on my foot, I realized there's no turning back now. Electric zero emission vehicle, go green.